those of you that haven't seen this before, this is uh, not your not your typical mono red deck in standard. We've got uh, Gutter Snipe, Electrostatic Field, and Arc Lake Phoenix. Runaway Steamkin as our primary threats, and then we've got some uh, Warlord's Fury and Crash Through as Cantrips and some other burn spells and stuff. So we won a lot more matches than we lost last time we played this deck, and it was a lot of fun. So let's dive in here. The uh, just just like this the the how fluid the client is lets you play more games more quickly. Not being locked into a league and getting to play best of three on a ladder is quite fantastic, so uh, I fixed them. They should be imported. I guess I could double check since it doesn't pop. I love this deck, Copenhagen. Can I not cancel? Oh, it already found me a thing. Okay. I think I think they were in there. It said it imported. Fine. I fixed it off screen. Yeah. Sneaky Bish, thank you for the brand new Prime support there. I appreciate that. Welcome. Opponent goes first. Uh, yeah, this hand is great, actually. We get to we get to turn to Tormenting Voice, ditch the Arc Lake Phoenix, and then um oh, I should update my stream record, actually, speaking of. Like green black. I actually I think this matchup's probably okay for this deck. Been watching forever, and I think this is the only time I sub to you. <laughs> well, thank you for the support. I appreciate that. So tormenting voice ditches my bird here. Um, hopefully this draws me like a steamkin or some other red. It did not find me anything that I was looking for, but we do get to trip can trip bring the bird back next turn, which is decent. Uh, Crash Through is reprinted at M19. So, I think I just hang tight here because I have another bird in my hand now. So, I'm going to go ahead and Risk Factor and then Risk Factor again, ditch the Arc Light Phoenix. Okay, that's fine. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Sacrifices must be made. Uh, I don't have an avatar set, so I think it just picks random when you don't have an avatar set. Four months loving the arena content. Sluey, thank you for the four month reset there. And I appreciate the feedback from the subs, especially on what they're enjoying. I always try and make a point that the people that support my content kind of dictate what we do. So the people paying the bills like arena will definitely make time for it. At their end of turn, we'll risk factor, ditch this bird, and then the following turn, we'll get to triple spell and put both birds into play. Opponent just like not applying pressure here, which is good for us. Hopefully they don't have a 6-6 six, six demon here. Been playing rock at my LGS for a few weeks now, I love it. Every time I lose, I get to listen to my opponents tell me how my deck needs bobs. God bless. So risk factor. And so people that um, not that it matters when my, my lands are all mountains, but you can see when I go to cast a spell with the auto tapper, it shows me which mountains it's plans to use. I also love, you can see it puts my jumpstart card here next to my hand, even though it's in my discard pile. Which is another great feature. This isn't ult till next turn, right? Yeah, so, um... I could almost try and push lethal this turn, but I think I'm supposed to lightning strike the wild growth walker since I drew it, just to make sure that uh, that doesn't get out of hand. Because they draw like a jade light ranger or something, I could get in a lot of trouble. And then warlord's fury cantrips, and then crash through cantrips, and then I've cast three instants and sorceries this turn, so both my birds come back into play and attack. And then uh, next turn, should they kill either of these birds, I actually have enough things to put these back into play again. I assume one of these is going to eat a Doom Blade. Trophy. That's good for us. Gives us more lands. I would love to get a land. And then uh, next turn, they're actually dead, right? Because I get to deal five to them plus this. 
Sweet. Yeah, so they should just be dead here. Even if they shoot this, I get to bring both birds back next turn. Meant to be contained. Because this is an actual magic video game, Ian. It's really, really good. Sometimes sacrifice. I don't think they have any outs here, right? Are there any one mana black cards to get them out of this? I don't think so. Now there really aren't. What if we what if we discarded this bird? The sound design in arena is quite fantastic. Have you heard about my birds? I said a ba ba bird. Ba birds a word. I said a bird. Get the sweet, sweet birds flying across the screen animation. Nice black green deck. It'd be a shame if someone were to get under you. Um, this is a blasting cannons matchup. This is a blasting cannon matchup. I feel like it, it's gotta be, right? Just like grinds a good bit. Is it, is it nuts to cut the Steamkins here? I'm gonna split these two too. If it isn't, what do we have them for? These are actually really good in the red mirror. They're good against the other red decks. I'm gonna trade these out. Uh, this little thing in the top corner lets you flip the, the layouts. It's actually up here under where my portrait is. It's in the top top right, there's a flip screen. What turn was that? Uh, turn six, I think. Yeah, the, can the cannons are very good in long games, for sure. This seems like not stellar, but I think Lightning Strike is a keep because my opponent's best card in this matchup is the 1 3 for 2 that gains health when they explore. I think keeping this seems reasonable. That one. Kill it with lightning. We did beat green black every time we played it last time. Of course, that was before the PTQ results, so I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the green black decks are a little bit more trim now. A little bit more tuned. Yeah, is this your first time watching? Uh... Uh, Arena Ian, it's it is it is very clean. It's very well done. If they play this other Jade Light here, I'll shock in response. Fine Broker is very good for them here. I don't really have good answers at this point. They're gonna get to pick this back up, and then they're gonna get to do that plus Jade Light next turn. Yeah, we're probably dead here. The sand was a little bit medium to start, and then our top decks really haven't helped us at all. I definitely could see an argument that this could be a mulligan just because we didn't really get anything going. Lava Coil. Yeah, I like Lava Coil as a consideration, especially if I'm going to be a little bit more controlling. Let's do that. Let's do that for game three. I'm going to cut the... I'm going to cut this last Steamkin. Although on the play, the Steamkin's arguably better. On the play, the Steamkin's are better. Now, I kind of like all the threats. No, I don't want to cut my threats, chat. Like, my opponent's deck doesn't have a ton of removal in it. So, like, I, an unchecked gutter snipe, like, runs away with the game very, very quickly. We're actually down a little bit from when we started playing Arena. We had about 1,100 when we were doing Modern. 1,000 to 1,100 or so. But that's fine. I was getting beat up playing Modern. I wanted to play some Standard, so we're here playing some Standard. 
This curve, this curve is sweet. Really strong curve here on the play. The dead gym, dead weight, bro. This hand does ask a lot of questions. That's a great way to phrase it. Yep. Yeah, the the audio on this game is quite, quite good. All right, well, this is about how I was expecting the rest of this day to go. That's fine. We got a few more matches still. What are the average CPU and RAM? I don't know offhand. I'm gonna concede when we draw another land next turn. Fine Broker gets back dead weight. That's really sweet. Okay. Uh, Magic. Arena is currently using 2 gigs of RAM. Magic Online is currently using 2.3 gigs of RAM. Of course, Magic Online only uses uh, approximately 800 megs of RAM when it first boots up. And then it inflates from there. This only gets back permanent, so it's not quite Eternal Witness, but it's close. Definitely a bigger, bigger, right? Yeah, magic, magic online doesn't use any like any. See what's left of Did they just forget to use their planeswalker? I think they forgot to use their planeswalker. Whoopsie. All right. All right. Try another one here. In the words of of the greatest poet of our generation, chat. Sometimes you just need to shake, shake, shake it off and move along with the next one, okay? Oh, punted, should have played my land out before I conceded. Get my get my play 25 lands quest completed. I mean, flood and screw is part of magic. One of the things that I think a lot of people fail to recognize too, I often hear people say things like, oh, I flood more, or I screw more in arena. And that's a psychological thing. Um, as humans, we tend to remember what the negative things that happen to us a lot more than the positive things. So what arena and magic online and other digital clients let you do compared to paper is you can play so many more games in a shorter period of time in these digital clients that while you're still experiencing the the same percentage of these bad hands that you're experiencing in paper you're experiencing a total higher number of them because you are playing more total games uh that's not true in best of three carmanova arena does does fudge your percentages a little bit less towards flood and screw in your opening hand in the best of one games but in the best of three it's just like paper Peace, madam. Thanks for the support. Uh, I think I'm just going to stick the gutter snipe here, and if they don't have a Doom Blade, like, all my cards deal infinite damage now. Black Green's the, you know, the big hot thing. Just, just, uh, just did well in the events and all that jazz. Give me first strike, take three damage. That's a risk factor. We're gonna end to turn that bad boy. They are, they are pretty dead here. This is a good, good clean living curve here. My lava spike through a card. Yep. Can trip. Oh, oh, that card loses you a life. That seems so good for me, opponent. I, I appreciate you. How about a risk factor that deals seven twice? No, I couldn't have attacked because they had two three twos. They would have double blocked and killed my gutter snipe. And my gutter snipe is worth far more to me dead than alive than dead. 
Hey, Zorblin, actually, you did hit your resub. You have the three-month subscriber icon there. When you resub on desktop, you need to... Uh, they're just dead to these lightning strikes, right? When you resub on desktop, you need to refresh your browser page to send it through. Thanks for re-upping that support. I appreciate it. Yeah! Bye, friend! All right, so I'm going to bring in these lava coils. I'm going to cut the steamkins. I'm going to bring in the lava coils and... Trim a shock. And I'm going to bring in these blasting cannons. Again, biggest complaint about this interface is there isn't a total number of cards in my deck here. There really should be like an X out of 60 over here on the right. But if you click back to this layout, you can see 60 out of 60 here. Modal! Thank you for the eight-month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Young, fresh, gutter, snipe aggro, right? Standard is really good right now. If you're someone in the past who has said to yourself, I hate standard, what you meant was you haven't found a standard format you've enjoyed. Standard is a format that changes and evolves constantly. And I agree with you that standard has been very bad for a while now. This freshly rotated standard format seems fantastic. I've not played any singleton. I pretty much exclusively play decks that people pay me to play. I think we had a donation for singleton for tomorrow. So maybe, maybe we'll get to that. It seems fine. If it draws like a bird, the tormenting voice is pretty good. We got lightning strikes to deal with their walker if they have it on two. No walker on two. Um, do I want a tormenting voice? I don't think I do. I don't really have anything that I want to bin and I'm not really looking for anything, right? District guide, sure. Yeah, and like even before standard got like really bad with Kaladesh, like the the collected company nonsense like wasn't even that great of a format, right? It was like passable, it was better than what we had for a while, but it wasn't, I wouldn't call it good. It was just like not bad. So long, gutter snipe. Before I make that disappear. All right, that's a bird. I think I'm just gonna play the bird and attack the Vraska here. It feels a little bit bad to not get value off of this, but I think killing the planeswalker is pretty important here. Eldest Reborn, sure. One mana spell is perfect here, so I get to go ahead and Tormenting Voice. Do I want to ditch this Risk Factor? Oh, I should Warlord Fury first because I could draw a Phoenix. Did not draw a Phoenix. And I drew a land, and I'd like to discard a land here. And then I get to do this, discard this. And then I get to go ahead and Lightning Strike. Um, huh. I'm just gonna lightning strike them. So it faces the place here. Yeah, the animation, it's all really, if you haven't played Arena, this is the magic video game we've been waiting for for a very, very long time. <sighs> been lightning strike here. So, do I play Good Afternoon Hogland? I'd like to bump the standard blue-black control because it's very sick. Wolding, thank you for the tier three sub. I really appreciate that. I'd be happy to... Happy to do that. I've really been enjoying blue-black and standard myself. Yeah, I could like gutter snipe risk factor here. That deals a pretty good chunk, right? I think that's the play. Q is currently not slowed. Let's fix that. I 
I guess so. The downside to playing Gutter Snipe here is Braska just gets to kill it. I only pick targets that interest me. Lucky. So they're going to go to eight here. We're probably dead. We're taking eight here. They're going to bend a land. They're going to gain one. Yeah, the more I play this, the less I feel like it's a, it's a blasting cannon matchup. I'm going to bring these Steamkins in on the plan from this last shock, I think. I'm going to leave the the Lava Coils in because they have, um, they have like, Fine Broker and they also have the 1-3 that we want to get rid of. And like, that's the other thing too, right? Like, I know we're playing an aggro deck, so the pace of the game is a little bit better from that too, but like, in 21 minutes, we've like, played two full matches, and they haven't been matches where we've just like, been screwed. Sounds great. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 With the very generous five sub gifts. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for supporting my content here. Enjoy your e new emotes, folks. Give a dead weight. Maybe I should have let on this because of dead weight. It's a very real possibility I should have let on the field there because dead weight was a card that they showed us. I think I gutter snipe here because it's the higher upside play. I I really kind of like the turn counter in Arena and how it goes. Wow, if they don't have a dead weight here, we are gonna mess them up next turn. We're gonna go like second electrostatic field and then like four them off of this. Don't don't dead weight me. Don't do it. Wow. Wow! Triggers. Well, I guess that last turn was three, right? So they couldn't have had dead weight there. All right, do you have a Vraska to kill my gutter snipe? Oh, this has first strike. I forgot this card is text. Yeah, totally could have attacked with first strike. I don't know what these cards do, chat. Come on now. So they should be at 14, or this should be dead. Either of those would be better for us, obviously. I don't think I want to kill this. I think these are just like five balls upstairs.
Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Is it worth it to kill Vraska? I think so, because you can kill one of my things here. Yeah, the O4s are pretty reasonable. They play defense decently as well. Gone. Consider it done. I think I just have to attack them at this point. Maybe I'm supposed to hold on to this since they have a Chupacabra, but I guess their Chupacabra is like killing the Arc Light Phoenix, right? If we get a really fortunate string of cantrips, we could probably kill them next turn. We need to hit a cantrip into another spell. I'm not gonna play around a dead weight. I think we're probably probably dead to that regardless. Uh, a cantrip is a uh, magic jargon for a card that draws a card. So a cantrip is like, uh, we have one in our bin, right? Um, War Warlord's Fury is a cantrip. It is a sorcery that draws another card. So it replaces itself, yep. That is not the droid we're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this mountain in my hand because I've got copies of Tormenting Voice and Risk Factor in my deck. We're not dead just yet, but we're getting there. Take one more hit here. Uh, Black Green's popular because it's very good. Uh, the Moto PTQ over the weekend, I think, had like five copies of various Black Green decks in the top eight. It's like mid-range style decks like that are just like decks that people typically love to play. One, one more spell, one more spell. Uh, 11 out of the top 13, Greg, is whenever you see someone talk about like top 13 or top six or top like 11, like that's like you're skewing your sample at that point to like try and push a narrative that you're thinking of, right? So like, what what was it out of the top 16? Don't Don't push a narrative. Yeah. So like what is what was it out of the top 16 or top 8 or top 32? Like do a do a normal reasonable cut rather than like selecting the amount that gives black green the highest percentage, right? Data doesn't lie, but people lie with data all the time. This hand's really good with a second land. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna cast this to try and hit our second land here. On the draw with the cantrip. We get to play a game of magic, chip. Oh, one of our opponents stumbled for a change, chat. 
I don't even understand what that's like. That's so weird and foreign. So, start with this, and if we find a land plus a one mana spell here, we could put this phoenix into play this turn. Okay, there's a land. So, Tormenting Voice has two shots to find a one mana a shocker, one of our cantrips here. Perfect. All right. Let's do it. Upstairs. I did I did remember to attack with the gutter snipe this time. Yeah, we McGee, I I just couldn't play more modern. We got we got beat up a ton and I just was not I needed I needed something that was less sad. Yeah, I need to figure out, like, what I'm doing in my sideboard. I don't know. I feel like we just run a little bit bad. I think this Blasting Cannons probably isn't good enough. The Lava Coils are. I'm just going to trade the Shocks for the Lava Coils, I think. Uh, the expansions are for blue decks, I would imagine. You can counter their counter spells with them, and you can also, like, copy their chemistry's insights. I've got, I've got good advice for everybody in chat. This is just good quality TCG advice. You'll never lose a game because you mulliganed to five if you always keep seven. Blobfish, thank you very much for the brand new Prime support there. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here. I kept Choops on top there. I think I'm just going to Lightning Strike. I think on the draw, I need to be a little bit more controlling here. So, I think because they we know they have Choops in their hand, I don't want to run Gutter Snipe out for no value. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and just play Risk Factor. Yeah, the fact that, like, my opponent revealed this card and it just, like, stays face up in their hand is just, like, so fantastic. Just, like, good, clean interface design. Nice Planeswalker that comes in and doesn't do anything. Good, clean living. Boros charm you. Uh, the standard queue can be found at the same spot as the normal queue. They're sorted by format in there, Wee McGee. Sure. Not something Vraska can bin. I mean, does, if you have multiple Chupacabras in your hand, do you have to play the right one? Or does it default to playing the right one? If it defaults to playing the right one, it's really not a big deal. Also, you could manually keep track of which cards in your hand they know about, so it's no different than paper. It defaults to playing the right one. Sure. Well, then, yeah, I don't see what the big deal is. If it defaults to playing the right one, it's just, like, just fine. It's, like, not a big deal in the slightest.
Hmm. Maybe I should have pressured this rascal with the lightning strike. So this thing, this thing's actually gonna kill me next turn. Yeah, we're kind of just dead here, right? I guess they could theoretically have no removal in their hand and I can go creature, creature and block, but you should be dead here. Come and get me. I'm disappointed that there is there a special there isn't a special Vraska killed you animation. That's kind of sad. I'm just I'm disappointed, Arena. You've ruined you've ruined my immersion. Yes, despite there being animations, the gameplay in Arena is faster than Magic Online. I don't know, Statistician. I, 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 I definitely don't know what our sideboard plan is in this matchup. We tried Cannonade and it didn't feel good, so I'm trying without it. Do they have the dead weight? They have the dead weight. What a tilt. Why? Can you answer the question in, in the inverse? Why would I play experimental friending over blasting cannon? What's the what's the upside? I feel like people have just been so programmed, like that, like they think that this card has to be better, and I haven't like everybody keeps asking that, but nobody's been able to give me a good reason why. Yeah, I feel like we just need to kill the opponent's deck rather than like trying to turtle around. So I'm gonna go ahead here and just risk factor it end step for five. They're gonna get to contempt this. Ooh, that's really good. If we draw a bad card next turn, we can gutter snipe plus tormenting voice. I mean, it actually has a pretty high probability to brick, and at a certain point, you're just, like, hoping to draw burn spells, right? And, like, it turns into a burn spell every turn. Frenzy also, like, severely restricts your ability to sequence things. Like, your sequencing is very dictated for you under Frenzy. So they're at they're at nine, but really they're at a virtual eleven because they have this Frasca's contempt in their hand. And like also people are talking about like experimental frenzy drawing more cards, and then you're talking about lands. If you hit too many lands in a row with experimental frenzy, you actually don't end up generating card advantage. I don't think that's strictly true jumping up and down. I think there's a lot of times where like you hold your cards so you can sequence to like make your uh, make your birds come back or something like that. There's an Argyle's Bloodfast in their deck. I guess they could choose to just use the life gain mode on this. If they don't have a way to kill this gutter snipe here and we draw, draw anything reasonable next turn, they should be dead. This Rix Factor is gonna deal seven. They'll go to four and then like most spells kill them. So if they attack, nope, nope, no attacks. Well, do they not have a Doom Blade? They don't have a Doom Blade, we're in a pretty good spot. So they're gonna take a minimum of three here.
Nice, Danden. Yeah, Blue Red Tempo is uh, probably one is one of my two top picks for the Invitational. Let me work that down. Yeah, there are a lot of decks in the standard queue, which is exciting. The standard is sweet. Alright, so Lightning Strike is lethal if they take four here. Oh, this thing's gonna flip over, right? Which lets them gain some health. And like, remember, this is like a game where we drew what? We've drawn how many cards? We've drawn eight, like, almost half of our draws have been lands this game, and like, we're still actually playing a game of Magic. Alright. Uh, that is not lethal anymore, because they have this stupid temple. They didn't, they didn't go for the bait, chat. <sighs> I was hoping they'd temple at end of turn, and then they'd die. This doesn't take mana, right? Yeah, it doesn't take mana. You just tap it. It's not like a lot of... A lot of the flip lands require, um, require an activation, but that one does not. Uh, I had to, I, I was going to have to discard a card to Eldest Reborn. Alright. Burn spell, please. Burn spell, Phoenix, something. Can I have a live one? Ayo! Alright, sweet. Alright, so we're split against Black Green then. <laughs> Got him. The one I've had the most fun with. Uh, probably Mono Blue Tempo. There's, there's actually, so my article I need to finish tonight is talking about the decks I've enjoyed the most. And the decks I'm going to have featured in that article are uh, Grixis Control, Blue Black Operative, um, Blue Black Pirates, and Mono Blue Tempos. Like, there's four decks that I've all really been liking. I think we're 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two sounds right. I don't know. I'm having fun, Marty, so my record doesn't matter. I'm having fun with explosions and lighting people up and it's just it's just a good time really. More Bezo Bucks, thanks for the great content. Grell Wing, thank you for the two month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for the continued support. Hey, Clue, I'm leaning towards the Invitational. No, we'll have, we'll have a couple of, that was a great draw. We'll have a couple of big standard events between now and then. So we'll get to, we'll get to get a better feel for what's good, bad, and otherwise then. I'm going to be taking a couple of days between now and, um, I'm going to be taking some time between, um, the Invitational, like the next couple of weeks to try and play some decks that are decks I've picked out. to kind of get a feel for those. Is this the same person we just played? I don't know. I don't pay attention to names. I've loved the green black bears. It makes me feel like I'm making a lot of decisions matter. Yeah, I agree, Wannabe Beetle. And like, honestly, that's the most important thing, right? Just like feeling like your choices matter. Uh, this person's name is also Sonic. Right, five view. I think I'm just on the five them plan again. I'm gonna go ahead and can trip this. Mm, first strike's better than first strike's better than trample, so I probably should have burned the trample one there. Chupacabra. Yeah, yeah, and that's what, like, the mid-range decks, like the blue black upper deck, they have a lot of play to them, right? It's like, you generally, I, at least when I was playing it, I felt like I was getting to make a lot of decisions. Uh, this is just going to be, like, end step factor, strike you, untap factor, like, get to draw some cards.
I don't know, Marty. I think bringing in maybe, maybe I think bringing in a couple of lava coils, especially on the draw, is good. But like, I'm pretty close to just clicking submit, right? Hey, Sage Mode. Thank you very much for the four month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. And a third of a year. Thanks for the YouTube subs. And normally I can't catch when you're live. Well, thank you for the support. Uh, and then head in. Thank you. Finally managed to catch a live stream. Loving the arena content. Thank you for the six months. And thank you for the feedback. And let me know that you've enjoyed the arena stuff. All right. So let's do let's do this up there. Bit of mountain. Dealer's Choice, seriously, thanks for your stuff in Modern. Since it's so much work, it's hard to keep up. Well, thank you for the support. I appreciate that. This is only nine. That's an Eldest Reborn. Uh, we have draws to kill them next turn. So we're going to one. I have seven mana, and I have two redraws, plus my draw for the turn. All right. Poppy needs a burn spell. Ayo! <laughs> Upstairs! Upstairs! Allow me to sing you the song of my people. They are hot like fire! Gotcha. Gotcha. Never did it have it. Sucks like a combo burn deck. It's great. It's more than good. It's great. I don't actually know. Do I want to cut my shocks? I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. two Lava Coil, two shock. I don't know. I could just see this being a pretty close to clicks of it matchup. So you're telling me I can play Bird in three formats? Yeah, basically. Is it too greedy to cut lands? That's actually an interesting question. Because, like, we have cantrips and, like, they're assassins trophying us some of the time. So, like, in aggro decks, I've often cut lands, especially on the draw against Path, de path to Exile decks. So I'm gonna keep this, and I think with a hand like this in this matchup, I'm supposed to just shoot all of their things. I think I'm just supposed to like act like a control deck for the first couple turns and like gain advantage with risk factor in the late game and kill them. Needing an enabler is an interesting way to think about the deck. I hadn't I hadn't really thought about it in that way, but it is a really good way to think about it, isn't it? Like we're just like waiting for one of our payoff cards that like makes all of these red spells like extra good. Their hand must be just like full of doom blades, right? I send you cheers so I can hear you say my name, Fluffer Nutter. Thank you for the hundred biddies. I appreciate it. All right. Well, this hand is not coming to fruition. That's okay. That's why we play best of three in Magic. Do I consider this a Xerox deck? No, I don't think so. I don't know that we necessarily have enough cantrips to be considered a Xerox deck. I'm gonna take one more draw. If we don't find like a tormenting voice, I'm gonna... Should have... Obs, obs should have cut a land. Obviously cutting a land was the correct line. I think that could be correct in general. Just like, I don't think I want to cut a land when I'm on the play in this matchup, but on the draw, cutting a land seems like pretty reasonable. Halfway there, living on a prayer, but I'll get a shiny sword, I swear. What's going on still in the water? Still the water, thanks for the six months. 
beat me up. Come at me. Yeah, I agree. I don't think cutting one land would help the turn. And, and the fact that we're flooded here isn't the reason why I'm saying cutting a land is good, right? Like, we talked about that before this game started. I think, in general, the theory behind cutting a land in this matchup on the draw seems fine. Look at that. Why would I want Expansion Explosion? Like, to copy my own burn? An exorcism wouldn't help this draw. Cast out the demons! All right. Dance pretty good. Got a lot of enablers here. Bring me your finest Doom Blades, for I am ready to power through them. It went like super speed there for half a second. Yeah, I think Flame Mikel's just too clunky with all of our camp trips. Give me a land so I can steam kin lightning strike here. Give me a land so I can steam kin lightning strike here. I think I just strike attack. I think I just strike attack here. Because like, I'm only losing one point of damage by doing this and I keep their board clean, which is valuable. Nobody in Oaklandia has money to play vintage because we give it all to Jeff. God bless. God bless. I lead the Golgari now. Consider it done. Okay, sweet. Fly, my bird, fly! Oh, you'll have to try harder than that. You're dead. How can I try harder than killing you, Fresco? I think I just bin the gutter snipe here. Although it's possible because like, do I bin the gutter snipe or the risk factor here? I think I bin the gutter snipe because I just have too many threes. I think I just want to eat them at this point. That was rough. Yep. It's time to step out of the shadows. A lot of Raskas, chat. Man, with these Raskas combined, they can plus both of them and gain a health and draw a card. The problem is, dealing eight here just like isn't good enough, right? They're like gonna end up at seven and they're gaining health every turn. It's just like not gonna matter. The rest is gonna all pretty soon. Uh, I suppose we could cantrip into getting a bird back. All right, that's another risk factor. This, the problem is this alts in two turns. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think we're, I think we're just too far behind at this point. There's not enough mana to go. The, the ritual of so just like put us off, right? Like if they would have, if they would have only answered one of our steamkins on that turn, I think we would have been okay. But the fact that they were just like able to clear our board out entirely was just a little bit too much to overcome. Ooh, it gains indestructible.
Let's have a moment of just a social media to ignorant people who have lots of lots of opinions without being educated. They've literally said they will have a solution to the rotation problem on Arena next fall when things rotate again. My money is on a new format announced then. It's like magic players just like look at people in general. They would like look for something to have something to complain about. Just like you look look for reasons. If you if you are looking for reasons to dislike something or someone, you're almost always going to find them. And it's just like well, if you're looking for a reason to dislike something, maybe you should just like ignore that thing. It's okay to not to not like everything. Yeah, sometimes some people just want to be angry. Sometimes some people's lives are just bad, and they're just looking for a reason to be pissed off. Block for me, baby. We did mulligan to five here, so we're working, working on a little bit on medium resources. I'm gonna block the firebrand rather than the runaway steamkin here, because if I block the steamkin, my field dies to a shock. I'm okay with it dying to lightning strike, I think. I agree, Scraw. I think that they are trying to figure out the solution themselves and don't don't have a for sure answer yet. <sighs> the Steamkin's pretty bad because they have this fanatical firebrand. You feel like there's more downtime when you play Arena? As somebody who plays an absurd amount of magic, the volume of downtime that you have on Arena compared to Magic Online is, is zilch. I, I guess I'm just not sure what a build around for Steamkin in Modern would be to Strominator. That's just like, not just like playing the list that D.Va's been working on. I think we're done here. Yeah, I guess, I guess you could build 8-Whack, but I, I feel like, I feel like that's a card that like a lot of people have been exploring. So I'm not sure that like, I have a good like solution for like, like I'm going to, I'm going to be like doing something innovative or interesting or really different. So in this matchup, I think we want to basically become a control deck. So I'm going to bring in the Vance's blasting stations and then some lava coils here. I'm going to cut the runaway steamkins because they die to a lot of my opponent's sheep interaction and their goblins. I'm going to trim at least one risk factor. Honestly, maybe it's just two. It's probably just two. Uh, I would not expect Legacy to ever exist in... on Arena. Probably not Modern either. So this gutter snipe, I wonder if I'm supposed to cut gutter snipe in this matchup. He dies to a lot too. Oh, that's rough. Hey, Sage Mode, thanks for gifting that sub there. I appreciate that, welcome. I actually really hope we do just get an arena modern. Magic is ready for another non-rotating format to exist that has official support. People, again, people just like looking for things to be upset about, just like have a reason to shoot down actual everything that people suggest. 
And they have D2 in to kill my gutter snipe, we're gonna be sad here. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, Arena only does the algorithm to adjust the opening hands in the matches that are best of one. In the best of three cues, it's just like playing paper or magic online. No, I don't think so, Tom. I think the upside of it living is high enough. Just like getting getting in one shock off the gutter snipe isn't going to make or break this game. Just using my mana efficiently is important. That would be pretty bad. 77577. Also, again, like, I think there's a good chance that a lot of those cards that exist, the way they're designed, just like aren't going to be programmed elegantly into Arena. Or like, and that's one of the reasons why Magic Online has the issues it has. Wizard Lizard, that's such a good name for that card. Yeah, that card's very powerful. Really want a, I'm gonna hold on to this for risk factor in case we draw it. Really want a blasting cannon at this point so I can generate some card advantage here. And, and the other thing too is it's not even just that individual cards are complex. It's the way in which individual cards combine to interact together with the rules adds complexity to the application. That's probably gonna bury us. I think whoever hit their four mana enchantment first was gonna win the game. What's going on, Zubrin? Okay, we made a risk factor. The problem is they're still at like 18, like not doing anything just yet. They talked about, um, the digital teams talked about before how they, they've worked to integrate the digital with the physical into Arena. Yeah, we're pretty good. Let's try it. Let's try one more before we wrap up for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Shannon, thank you for the 23 month three subscription there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. I don't know. I think risk factor is important for wrapping up in this deck. You don't have, uh, you don't have a lot of things. Is there a 24 month sub animation? No, all the sub animations after uh, 12 are the shield. Uh, Toxic Flame, did you check out the, the last league or the league before last that we played with Blue Red Tempo? We played Risk Factor in it. It's on the YouTube channel. It's also in the playlist embedded on my website. Looks like uh, tokens here. Interesting to see how this goes. Their deck generally has pretty minimal removal, which means our hand here that has, you know, three enablers in it is going to get to run away with the game potentially. Yeah, there should be an option to skip the Jora when you fire up Arena. They do get to throw away one of their tokens to use their Legion Landing here. Of course, if they have their Convoke uh, Enchantment Exile, they might want to use that this turn. That's pretty good. It's a big board, Chet. It's a big board. All right, let's get Kian Trip in here, shall we? The problem here is this doesn't lifelink, right, does it? 
just Convoke. All right. So this dork lifelinks, though. And then, uh, so they're... They're actually going to 15 next turn, and then each of these deals 7 if they don't impact our board. So I'm taking 10... And then any one mana instant or sorcery kills them if they don't exile anything from my board here. Do they have uh, is Conclave Tribunal as the four mana enchantment? Is it here? Oh, um, I guess I get to attack with Gutter Snipe here. I'm going to have to shoot down their lifelinkers next turn because I need to not die. Wait, what? Uh... Yes, kill you. Maybe they weren't expecting to die from 13. Not sure you realized how much damage I'll put. Call the cops, there's a robbery in progress. It's been a hit, hit and run chat. He had a fire slingshot and he was driving real fast. Yeah, right, gutter snipe can attack. There's no way I could die at 13. Oh, ho, ho. let me tell you. I think just trading risk factor for cannonade here makes the most sense. I don't think any other cards look particularly useful. Let's just run it back. It's probably a matchup where they get on board fast enough. Uh, this hand's probably worth the risk on the draw, right? Like, static field's good as a blocker. I have cantrips to try and hit more lands, and I have the cannonade. Expansion to counter March is interesting. Yeah, maybe that's better than uh, some of my other cards. It also could like team up with my cannonade to kill bigger things potentially. Oh, March will cost more than four. Yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting it's not, I keep thinking it's fork and I think a lot of people are doing that, but it's, it's not literally fork, it's just close. Sweet. So, I think I'm supposed to play field here. I could definitely see an argument for cantripping warlords here to give myself the best chance to hit three mana next turn. Perfect. So I probably want to do this before they gain health, right? Is it too aggressive to use the Fiery Candidate here? Probably not. Their things are gaining them health. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Just clean this stuff up. Killing them now means they can't Convoke, which is nice. I know it's an instant, but I don't want them to be able to Convoke next turn. Yeah, Dawn of Hope is pretty good. I think I'm actually shocking the Soldier Token. Because, like, they're going to get to draw a card with it next turn. So, like, it's also gaining them health here. So, like, dealing two here is going to eventually save them two or more. I don't think there's anything that punishes me for waiting on this shock. Yeah, I think this card's really good. I think this is like a great grindy card for white, white decks. The fact that it gains them health here is neat too for them.
I really want like a Phoenix or a Gutter Snipe, but we have like to generate consistent points of damage here. So we're gonna make a thing. Uh, each of these lightning strikes is worth five. The shock is worth four. So I have 14 in my hand. So I think at this point, it's still worth it to shock this token to prevent them from gaining health and drawing a card. So I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm quite close enough to killing them that I can, I can justify sending the shock upstairs rather than killing this token. It's a little bit, it's a little bit not resource efficient, but... I think all the I think all those matchups you just listed are pretty reasonable matchups for the for the blue red deck. I think you're decent against spirits, humans, and burn. Blue white control is probably the closest. Watch the multitudes, that's brutal. Am I striking tokens here? So they go to 17. If I don't strike the tokens, the lightning strikes then put them to, I think, I, I think I'm striking the tokens. I don't have advances in my deck currently. Yeah, I think we're pretty dead here. Maybe advances should be in my deck. It might be better than risk factor, honestly. pretty good there we needed we needed to hit a consistent source of damage a way to like really allow us to pull ahead maybe steamkin's not good enough for this matchup just because like it's gonna have a hard time attacking well i guess it kind of puts them under the abyss i don't know blasting cannon seems appealing i'm gonna bring in two and just trim one of these i think let's give this a go see how it feels Thanks everyone for hanging out today. I got a little over a thousand people wrapping up here while we finish up standard. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Every Tuesday is all standard here on the stream. So we'll be playing all standard here on Arena. So I start about a little bit before 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and I go till about now, 3.15, 3.30 or so. He's been dragging them. Dragging them is awesome, though. Dragging is fantastic. It's the future. Our start's a little slow here. Our start's pretty aggressive. Ding. That's interesting, statistician. I don't know if this matchup is popular enough to like warrant a card specifically for it. Like we need, we have, we have the fiery cannonades and they kind of hit in more places. Block. Woof. All right. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we drew shock because uh, otherwise we were about to have a real bad time. Democracy for Just Guy Thing Ascension. Did you see this new card game? I've not. Frenzied Mage. Do I want to flip the blasting cannon this turn? I don't actually know if I want to flip it or not. Do I want to flip it? Maybe I do. Yeah, I probably do. I don't know. There's definitely an argument to just like keeping it, keeping it uh, unflipped, I think. I think we're I think we're dead chat the red the red deck had to slam on the brakes there might have been a robbery in game one but the police have caught up with us now
If we draw a uh, Shock or a Lightning Strike, we can kill this Lyra along with Spitfire Bastion. So I'll take one or two draws here, but this gets in. Once this hit us twice, it's probably done. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Shock. I need a Shock. I guess I'm kind of racing with the birds. All right, so now we're dead, right? Can I concede now? Right on, right on time, lightning strike, right on time. Yeah, I think, I think the way this game ended up playing out, um, I was supposed to have, uh, I was supposed to have let this unflipped, maybe. I guess, like, I guess we're kind of in an okay spot, right? Like, we've got these birds holding the Lyra back, and, like, the Spitfire Bash is gonna, like, slowly tick them down. Come on. They're dead to shock. I mean, okay. So you're so you're saying there's a chance. That's all I need, chat. All I need is a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 Oh, I had them dead to the mountain. They were dead to the mountain. They were dead to the mountain. They were dead to the mountain. I know they were dead to the mountain. Shh, 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 shh. I know they were dead. They were dead to the mountain with that. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. First strike doesn't matter. This says first strike. Ah, <sighs> so they were dead to the bash. All right, so the, the deck should have beaten this one. This that's impressive. That's impressive. I don't want to attack here because lets them pay two to draw a card. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve, I deserve that. Should put green black elves on top. Also, all of this came from ads. Thank you, Frenzied Mage. I appreciate that. Thanks for the support. You're keeping me employed here. I mean, we still have draws that kill them next turn. That that was not one of those draws that killed them. The Murfer Murfer face. Thank you for the, thank you for the four month reset. There. I appreciate that. Welcome back. That's fine. I'm gonna pack it in. We're in. <laughs> all right, all right. The deck should have won that game, which is impressive, right? I didn't think we were gonna beat the Lyra. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. I'm gonna, that's gonna be it for me. I will catch all of y'all tomorrow morning. Back about 8:30, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and, uh, we'll be, we'll be gone from there. Hey, right, listen, I almost gave up. I missed, I missed, I got, just wanted to draw a card, okay? All right, everybody have a good one.